what is up everybody and welcome back and in this video we're going to be uh laying some scottish pebbles for a good customer of mine and we're going to be also laying a little bit of turf as long as the conditions improve and uh allow me to so uh yeah we're sort of joining halfway through the job because uh me and leon did come yesterday uh we got a good uh, half a day in you know we sorted the materials and that sort of thing yesterday morning and then we come up here and got uh you know as much as we could done so obviously with the shorter days and that sort of thing guys we've been limited to how much we can get done within a day and that sort of thing i'm sure you fellow gardeners and that are feeling the effects of that <laughs> definitely also guys i've not uploaded in about a week or so and i'm extremely sorry about that i want to try and keep as active as i can on this youtube channel uh even throughout the winter i have uh, four or five video ideas uh gonna do a lot of recording and that sort of thing today so hopefully i'll be able to prepare some videos for the future for the next couple of weeks so that should be uh all good and well uh yeah like i said i've been a bit ill the past sort of week or so so i've not really been working to be fair and the weather conditions haven't really you know allowed us to work down south and we've had snow sleet rain you name it the weather's been a bit temperamental so the past week sort of been a write-off for me however as of yesterday you know we got got back on the go and we got back on the grind so that's that's brilliant but without further ado, I will show you where we are at with this job, guys, and we will uh, get working. I mean, it is a very chilly Saturday morning, very chilly, but uh, nonetheless, we will get uh, working. The thermals are on today, as you can see. They come in clutch on a winter's day. Anyway, let's go. Right, so here's the first sort of job today, guys. We will be relaying... Scottish pebbles and membrane around this planter that is definitely not square to the patio and nonetheless this is what the first job but I'll show you that bit of turfing that me and Leon got on and did yesterday and here we are guys this is the bit of turfing we did yesterday I'll put a before photo up now for you guys and the bit we'll be doing today is we'll just be doing around this patio. Materials here, but I'm obviously I'm holding off laying any turf for the minute because well it's frost. It's frosted and the ground's all not ideal. I know we'll be setting it on the topsoil, and this topsoil's actually made for turf. It's 20% uh, compost, 80% topsoil, so it's all the right stuff but i think it's a little bit cold and a little bit frozen for the time being so uh, back with the job at hand for now we're gonna start ripping the old soil out get some uh, new membrane down and then uh yeah see where we can get to with the materials we've got and then i'm sure we'll have to do materials Right then guys, and this is where we are at, and this is what we've done so far, so we've dragged some of the old material off, put them in some rubble sacks, as you saw in the time lapse, we also double layered the membrane, cut the first one then just folded the backs of the second like off cut over, and now I'm going to start laying some pebbles from this corner, working my way that way. And that way to see how many bags we're going to need because I've got 10 here. So that's 200 kilo, but I think we're going to need probably another three or four to be honest. Oh, that bag split. Oh, right, perfect. We will use that bag first then. Right, so if that's how far one bag goes, we're probably going to have to go a little bit thicker than that as well. Yeah, I reckon another two, three bags. But we'll see.
hope it decides to warm up a little bit, guys. Because otherwise we're not going to be laying no turf today, which is unfortunate. I really wanted to get it done. But I mean, it's just... I think it's a little bit too cold to be laying anything. Yeah, I think the ground's going to be just a little bit too frozen, a little bit too hard. You know, I don't want to risk it not rooting in or whatever. And I mean, you're not laying that, are you? The turf is frozen, man. Yeah, you're just not doing it, are you? Well, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't, it's not a wise move at all, is it? I'd rather wait for conditions to get a bit better. Because otherwise I'm going to be unrolling a sheet of ice. And you know, I can't have that. That's literally, it's frozen solid, man. Can't, can't lay a bit of turf like that, can you? It's no good. Well, we will overdapt and overcome somehow, though, guys. You always do. Well, we always do anyway. Let's keep it moving. Get them Scottish pebbles all complete. Uh, and then we'll reevaluate the situation, that sort of thing, guys. I mean, I could have a jiggle about and go do some other jobs, but we'll see where the day leads. Right then, guys, so I may not have been uh, out in the van actually working over the past sort of couple of days while I've been feeling under the weather, feeling ill and that sort of thing. However, it's given me an, a brilliant opportunity because it's allowed me to, you know, step back, look at the numbers, reevaluate my business. And that, that's just vital, you know, that's that's key to any business. And I really have been doing that. I've been stepping back, I've been implementing a lot more systems and software into my business and that sort of thing, so like, I'm trying to systemize things a little bit more, uh, obviously where I've taken on Leon and that sort of thing, uh, I've uh, introduced a CRM into my business, so I think that's going to you know, help me massively, and I'm sort of trying to build the business around that and now make that the backbone, because obviously that's going to aid me you know, to be able to manage multiple crews in the coming years and expand the business the way I want to. So it's really allowed me to, you know, take a step back, analyse my pricing structure, see where I'm going wrong, guys. Because there are places and there are times where I price jobs wrong, you know, I mess up, I've made the mistakes, you know, like we all have. But it's learning and it's overcoming and it's taking a step back and going, why did that happen? Why did I lose money on that job? Why did I only make X on that job and not, you know, what I wanted to? Why was that job so successful? You know, you've got to look at all these things and be... And, you know, critique and form your business. You know, it's down to me as the business owner. And I think it's very important. You know, I've had these sort of ideas and that sort of thing in my head for the past sort of couple of months. And I'm starting to action them, put them into a play, you know, and starting to get the growth that I want out of my business. You know, I'm diversifying the business, which I plan to roll on to next year as well, guys. I'm diversifying the business. I plan to roll on all these changes onto next year. Because to be honest, guys, I've sort of uh, got vision for this company. And the business I'm building. And my vision is I want to be the one stop shop gardening uh, you know, business in Hampshire and Dorset. So no matter what you want doing, unless it's outdoor cleaning and professional cleaning, then you want to go set uh the Avon and Stower uh exterior cleaning. Anywhere in Hampshire and Dorset, you know, exterior cleaning, they're the people. You know, I want to be able to do everything a customer could want, all you know, in-house, all a jack of all trades for the gardening sort of scene. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So, you know, I'll do your landscape and all, but I'll also have my maintenance round. That's sort of why I'm analysing my pricing structures and that sort of thing, because I've got big plans. And, you know, it's worked out perfectly. And I'm now Saturday morning back on the grind, and I'm feeling good, guys, which is the main thing. You know, we're out, we're in the van, and we're feeling good. And there's not a better feeling than arriving and doing the day's work, is there, guys? Well, not in my opinion, anyway. But let's get back to it. Guys, tell me in the comments, you know, what sort of things do you have in place to systemize and uh, how you run your business and what helps you, you know, take the workload off yourself and how do you know, have you put systems, have you put uh, stuff in place, you know, relieve that uh, workload and allow you to take on more work, more staff and, you know, potentially get more vehicles out on the road. Because for me, that, that, you know, that's the goal. I'm here to grow a business. I really get a sense of achievement out of growing my business out of you know moving forward in life and seeing what I can make of it so I get a massive sense of achievement out of that guys and you know I've got to apply these systems in these softwares so you know Podio is the CRM I'm currently using if anyone's interested I'm sure there's better alternatives out there for the sort of work I'm doing please list them in the comments if you do know before I get sort of too deep into it if there is sort of a sort of job management software slash sort of CRM 
uh, that you know that you guys sort of use and you think is good and would be better for my sort of uh, situation, please leave a comment. Uh, that'd be muchly appreciated. And I still think even if you're not, even if you're just a one man band, I think you know trying to implement systems and softwares into your business is is you know is is vital because if at the end of the day if it allows you uh, to manage your business more efficiently, saves you time, and therefore you can take on more work, well, it's a win, isn't it, guys? You're, you're going to be earning more money at the end of the day. So that's the way I look at it, guys. So I really would advise people who haven't, you know, because it's so easy, guys. You get stuck into the business. You get stuck into the gardening. You know, you love, you know, pushing the mower, getting your stripes, you know, putting that lovely finish on the hedge. You know, it's all, we, we can get so caught up in doing the actual work that we can sometimes forget. Uh, we're actually business owners. So that would be my one time top tip for today. You know, take a step back and analyse, guys, because that is what's going to be able to allow you to grow and progress into the future. So there's my little bit of advice and uh, sort of where I want to take my business and a little bit of uh, advice to you guys on like systems, scaling and sort of, you know, it's a little bit of my vision and my plans, guys. But share yours in the comments, guys. I'd love to hear. But anyway, guys, back with the job at hand. Here's where we're at. We're going to finish digging out, which we almost have. And then we're going to get membrane, see what we can do with them pebbles. And then I might round it up for this job site today, guys, because, like I said, I'm not learning to... Right, guys. So that is all the membrane down. Next job, let's start working our way around with the stones and see where these last six bags can get us. Them black spots mean failure, guys. Well, not failure, but it means my original prediction about us needing 12 bags, not 10, was bang on. I think it would be a good idea to go up to that other customer, guys, get the that sort of hour of work done there, two hours worth of work done there, get the pebbles. Yeah, half 10, guys. You'd have sort of expected it to start clearing up by about half 10. I think it's just going to be one of them days. A bit foggy, a bit frosted. We are at the second job of the day, guys. And today's actually turning into a very busy day because I've got to uh, clear some leaves from this property. Uh, this is the property, uh, actually, that i done the blower review at. So it'd be nice to see, in comparison, what the backpack blower obviously does because I obviously know the sort of time it takes and that sort of thing with the handheld. So it'd be interesting to see if I can just whip through it with the backpack quickly. And I'm going to enjoy using the backpack on this job, guys. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> We got the van reversed up there, guys, with the trailer on. Bit of a difficult reversing manoeuvre, but we've done it. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. No choke on. Prime it a few times. Wow. Accidents happen, I guess, and I mean, but we live and learn. I have to get another one. Maybe something proper with a larger footprint so it stops falling over. That's actually upsetting, man. I was having such a good day. Blink. Right then, guys. I'm trying to make the most of the broken tribrod, but there's sort of... The very front bit then guys much better improvement and obviously the driveway looking much better so let's work our way up to the back 
uh, and see what it's like around there then guys. Oh wow, not quite as bad as last time guys, but we still got our work cut out. This back back blower should make light work of all this, so I mean just blow it from the front to the back, bag it up the best we can, and then we'll be on to the next. Well, in this case we'll be going to dropping off some wood to finish off my Saturday. Right, let's get on it. Guys, that's both sides done, but the tank is coming to the last of its juice, so we will give them a fill up, and then crack on and do the bulk of the back, I think will be the plan. This blower is absolutely blowing me away guys, I'm doing it so much quicker than I did in my previous videos. It took me 15 minutes last time with my hand held, I mean that was about three. Ah, and that is it for this job. All the bushes all de-leaved. And the back garden is looking immaculate guys. Just have a look at that. Oh, almost tripped over. Have a look at that then guys. Massive improvement over what it was. All the beds are clean. And I've blew just a little pile at the back, which I'll get on the final collection, so I'm sure the customer will have me back once more. So there's just a couple there, which I'll uh, bag up next time, as they're not quite all down in this area yet. We have still got a few on the trees. So I'm sure I'll be back. But yeah, let's get in the van. Right then, guys. That is us done at this property. That is uh, two nice jobs done on the Saturday. Uh, video made, a productive Saturday, I must say, guys. But anyway, now I will be going up to get some pebbles and then I'll be dropping a load of uh, wood off. But I am gonna end this one here, guys, because you've seen me empty uh, the trailer of wood plenty of times. So I'm not gonna bore you with that. And if you do wanna watch a time-lapse of some wood being unloaded and loaded from a trailer, and you know time-lapses are your thing, Go watch my previous videos, there's plenty of other sort of time lapses and that on there. But I am going to end this one uh, for today. Uh, it's been a fantastic day, uh, I've got a lot done and I'm extremely happy. I have been on my own but I've not let that stop me. It's been cold, I've not let that stop me. But one thing I must say as well guys, is that backpack blower is a beast. It is absolutely a piece of kit and I'm so happy I brought it. Uh, along with them leaf grabbers because I never had them last time I was here because my previous set broke and I was without some for about a month So with the leaf grabbers and my backpack blower, I mean I've been doing bits today It's taken me about an hour and 40 hour and 50 minutes uh, Which is the exact same time pretty much it took two of us admittedly there was more leaf cover Coverage last time we probably got twice the amount of waste so we you know there's a bit more work there But you know that just goes to show guys that, that backpack blower really makes it uh, earns its money it really does but anyway guys i am going to wrap this one up there i'm going to quit rambling i have been doing a lot of that today guys i really want to try and hit 500 subscribers before christmas uh if you could drop a subscribe sorry that would mean a lot if you could like that would also mean a lot share my videos up you know that sort of thing you know what to do everyone asks for it go do it <laughs> anyway guys have a fantastic rest of your saturday evening and i'll see you on the next one goodbye guys